Uh, Karen, I'm going to ask you this question from L, just the letter L on YouTube. Uh, can Amber's past relationships come into this trial? So we know uh, that she had dated this woman or they were partners, maybe domestic partners or something like that, or even her wife, uh, Tasia Von Rie. Um, and there was this incident at the Seattle airport where Amber Heard had been charged with domestic violence or something to that effect. It was later dropped and Tasia Van Rie put out a statement saying it was a misunderstanding. You've also got James Franco, you've got Elon Musk, um, and whomever else uh, she has dated. So will the jury be able to hear about that? Can it come in? Well, that's a great question, Al. And so what it comes down to is what Amber testifies to on the stand. So if you think of it as being a house in, in a closed area, and only the conversation that happens in that house can be discussed. Now, if someone opens the door, which is which is what we uh, refer to as letting information in, so if, if uh, during her testimony, either on direct or cross, Amber opens the door and makes reference to some other incident with some other relationship, whether it's James, and James Franco or Elon Musk or her previous partner, once she allows that to come in, then other evidence can come in as to those relationships. And I think you'll remember that there was a point in the um, a case where she mentions, Amber mentions uh, James, I'm not James Franco, but mentions um, Kate Moss. And you saw the reaction um, of uh, Johnny Depp's attorney just giving a fist pump, being excited that uh, she mentioned right. that. So that was an mm -hmm. example of opening the door. So that's why we had the discussion of whether or not Kate Moss would be called as a witness. So it'll be interesting to see if Johnny's attorneys are able to trip her up to mention other incidents or other relationships, and then that information can come in as well. It will be interesting to see. All right, we are going to watch another clip. This is Johnny Depp actually uh, describing the violence in the relationship that he says Amber Heard perpetrated it upon him. You know, we have to remind you that he claims he didn't do he didn't do any of this. He says he's never struck her or any other woman, um, but obviously she's claiming otherwise. And uh, he says she was actually the perpetrator here. She was the abuser abusing him. Uh, so let's listen to what he had to say, and we'll talk about it on the other side. And when you say violence, what are you referring to specifically? Um, Miss Heard, in her frustration and in her rage and her anger, she would uh, strike out. She would. It, it could begin with a slap, it could begin with a, a shove, um, it could begin with, you know, throwing a TV remote at my head, it could be uh, throwing a glass of wine in my face, um, but, but, but it, all in all, it was, a, it was just a, um, it was a constant, uh, it was, there was a, a built-in list of of, um, as I said, m my personal experiences, which I gave to Miss Heard, those those things were th those 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 facts were used against me um, as as weapons, um, especially when it. You know, when it came to my kids, um, so, so, so yeah, I, I did. I, there was no need for it. It just there was no need for it. it, it too many lines were crossed. You could it was you couldn't see the lines anymore. Turning uh, his children, he says, and any other information uh, Amber Heard, he had given Amber Heard, she turned it all into weapons. And we heard Amber Heard uh, bring up his children quite a few times, especially Johnny Depp's daughter, Lily Rose, uh, during her testimony. Um, I wondered, uh, Karen Felicia Nance, what did you make of that? We've discussed this before. You, Catherine, and I, we are all moms. And uh, the constant mention of Lily Rose. Uh, during the testimony, Karen, I'm wondering what you made of that. You hear Johnny Depp saying everything became a weapon. I I was really, it's an empathetic feeling that I have toward him. I think that it was totally out of line that she would use the information that he shared with her. First, we're talking about someone that's in a in a intimate relationship with you, a marriage, a legal relationship, and is taping you without your knowledge. First of all, that's just 
unbelievably uh, cruel to me. And in addition to that, I will take what's closest and dearest to your heart, which is your children. And I will say that you're a deadbeat dad, that you're washed up, that in all these negative things. And sometimes people, you know, Amber's focusing on the physical, allegedly the physical uh, abuse that she suffered from from Johnny. And and we the jury has to decide if that's true or not. But uh, in a lot of cases, when you abuse somebody mentally and emotionally by attacking them uh, through their children, seems to me the the worst thing from my perspective that you can do. And Johnny's being very careful at not bringing his children into this. And I think it's a low blow and and just a dagger to, that she constantly makes reference to the great, quote, great relationship that she had with his two kids when we know Lily Rose didn't even want to go to their wedding. So I don't think that that's believable. And I think it's going to hurt her in the end by constantly bringing his children into this when he's very careful not to do that. Yeah, as, you, as a parent, you always want to protect your children, uh, protect them from anything. And uh, it, hearing that brought up repeatedly and watching his reaction to it, you can tell he doesn't—nothing he says—he he doesn't believe a word she's saying or he's saying what she's saying is not true, because he said Lily Rose did not like uh, Amber Heard. All right, Catherine, this question comes from Wolverine, a.k.a. James, on Twitch. Could Johnny Depp's team call Amber's exes, or her ex, since her team is calling Ellen Barkin for to testify? And that's a really interesting question. That I kind of got me thinking, too, about opening the door even farther, um, despite the Kate Moss uh, qu comment last week. I mean, Ellen Barkin dated Johnny Depp uh, for a short time in 1998 while they were filming Fear and Loathing in Las uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, and um, she, Johnny Depp said this was like a casual sexual relationship. It was a rebound thing after Winona Ryder. So, Catherine, uh, does this open the door even farther uh, for bringing in uh, exes of Amber's? Thanks so much for your question, Wolverine. I love your name. And I've been thinking about the same thing, too, because <laughs> how far can you go, right, um, in terms of your relationship? Now, in trial, you only bring in evidence that are relevant and would be helpful. You don't want to waste everyone's time by going through your years and years and decades of relationship. So by bringing in Kate Moss, it opened some door, and we're saying that, you know, it, it might have opened uh, Amber Heard's prior uh, relationship and prior arrest. Now, in terms of bringing in also Johnny Depp's relationship, that might happen as well. But here's the thing. The judge, Judge Ascarati, has to approve first if that is going to be allowed, because in civil trials, prior bad acts cannot be um, introduced as evidence, because you don't want to show that someone has a propensity of doing the same thing just because they did it one time. Uh, it's so prejudicial. Uh, so Judge Ascarati has to approve that. And we've seen just as, as Judge Ascarati being by the book uh, and very um, you know, uh, strict with her ruling, especially with sustaining hearsay objections. So uh, we'll see if she's going to approve any of that. But that's basically the rule. How far can you go with your relationship as a prior bad act? It really, it really begs the question, and I, I, I think it opens the door. I mean, if you're going to bring in my ex from 1998, let me bring in yours. All right, let's uh, take a quick break. We have to do this for the network. We have to pay the bills. We have to run some ads, and we want you on YouTube to stay with us and on Twitch. Keep your questions coming. You are watching For the Record on Law and Crime.